reach down on the throttle I'm like men in a bottle Be a bird express Climb on up inside and enjoy the ride Wheelburner Express Hey, hey, wheel burners. You guys are never, ever going to guess who called me. Who do you think phoned me? Nobody. Nobody called me. Man, did you guys really seriously think that Trudeau or Ford was seriously going to call me or email me or reach out? I don't know. They still might, but my phone ain't ringing. Uh... They're sitting in their offices right now, and they've got, uh, you know, those red Solo cups, and they've got the string between them, and Dougie's sitting there, and he's going, psst, go, go, did you call him? And Trudy's going, no, no, man, I, I, I'm not calling, you call him. And Dougie's going, no, I'm not calling him, fuck that, you call him. Come on, boys, what are you afraid of, me? Come on, Really? You're afraid of the truth. It's not just me you're afraid of. It's the truth you're afraid of. And it's what the, my subscribers and guys like me and other people's subscribers can do to you. Anyway, talking about my subscribers, you guys, you guys are off the hook. You guys really, really came through on that last, that last video there. The questions and the comments were really good and really engaging. And uh, you brought up some really good really good to topics and subjects and, and we're going to just kind of touch on a couple quick things here um and it's going back to to trudeau and ford and and, and me, maybe even biden and you'll notice i'm not saying prime minister trudeau and premier ford and president biden because in order to have those titles you need to be respected and in my eyes, respect is earned. It's not given. I don't just give you Prime Minister Trudeau because you're... Pri no, I don't give a shit. You're not my Prime Minister anyway. But it's, it's it, respect is given. It's not just taken. And I don't respect you. A lot of my subscribers and a lot of people in this country don't, subs don't, don't respect you either. So you're just Justin Trudeau. You are just Doug Ford. And you are just Sleepy Joe Biden. What... Uh, what Somebody brought up a really good question. We'll throw this out there. And it's again, this is for Trudeau and for Ford. Um, why is it that you can get a, you to get on in order to get on an airplane, a bus, or a train, you need to be double vaxxed and you got to wear a mask? Why? To, like, to go from Toronto to Edmonton, you got to be you got to you need to be double vaxxed and you got to wear a mask. Why? I don't see the sense of that. There's no reason, there's no science behind that. What are you going to tell me? Oh, it's because you're in a confined space? Baloney. BS on that. You're in a confined space. Guys, hey Trudy, when was the last time you were ever in the checkout area at Costco? There's more people crammed in there than there is in a 747 or in a Greyhound bus. I can take, you're telling me I can take five or six people, all, COVID, all with COVID, stick them in a van and drive them from Toronto to Edmonton, no problem. We're going to cross Ontario, Manitoba, Saskatchewan, and Alberta. No problem. But you need to be double vaxxed and, and, and wear a mask to get on a, bu a bus, a train, or a plane. Makes no sense to me. So that's one of the, another question that, that we kind of want you to answer. So when you call me, that's another one we're going to be asking you about. That makes no bloody sense. You're going to knock that off any day. Now, the big one for me, and this is important to me, and it's important to a lot of other guys that are in my business as well. Um, why are we still needing to be double vaxxed across the border? Makes no goddamn sense to me. Makes no sense whatsoever why I need to be double vaxxed across the border. If I'm not double vaxxed, and you're sitting beside me and you are double vaxxed, and we both have COVID, either one of us can transmit that COVID and give it to somebody else just as easily as the other. Whether you're, I'm vaxxed, he's vaxxed, non-vaxxed, you're vaxxed, whatever, vaxxed. I, I can give it to you just as easily as a double vaxxed person can. And if you're standing over here and you're double vaxxed, I can give it to you or the double vaxxed person beside me can give it to you just as easily. What is this then? What, what, what are we doing? If I can give it and get it just as easily as somebody that's double vaxxed can give it and get it, 
What are we doing here, folks? What are we doing? Trudeau, Biden, all you've done is you've taken a band-aid and you put it on a bullet wound. You're not preventing anything. It's not a cure. It's not stopping anything. It's not, it's not like you, know, you get your polio vaccination and you don't get polio. This doesn't do anything. It's not doing anything. Anyway, that's what I'm thinking about. And that's what the subscribers, that's what you guys are thinking about. And I want to thank you for throwing these in here. These are great questions. So I will sit here. I'm in Edmonston. I just had a quick bite to eat. I'm getting ready to pull back out again. Um, but I will sit here a few more minutes and wait for my phone to ring to see if either of these guys call me. And uh, when they do, I'll let you know. All righty, guys. Anyway, hit the subscribe button. Throw up your, uh, turn on your notifications and, uh, you know, hit, if you like what we're doing here, subscribe to the channel. We'd appreciate that. Uh, anyway, we'll see you down the road, guys.